final results from the election aren't in yet. But Robert Mugabe's ZANU-PF party looks to have won by a large margin. African observer missions have given their cautious approval for the poll. The fact that uh, some people were turned away from the voting booths, whether that does affect the overall election, whether that affects the will of the people expressed to vote, that is something uh, needs to be seen. It is in the rural heartland of this country that the movement for democratic change alleged the rigging started, with village elders being used to intimidate villagers into voting for ZANU-PF. One MDC candidate showed me evidence of what he said were irregularities. The reports were supposed to hand over uh, to, uh, to observers, but they were nowhere to be seen, to be and honest. These, and these have never been collected? Never, never, not at all. Were you able to vote? Yes, I did. I want to vote, but I'm uh, looking for my name. My name is not there. And they registered in 2000, they couldn't find my name. And as a result, were you turned away at the polling station? Yes, I was. We put these allegations to ZANU-PF. This election has been endorsed by the AU, by the SADC Observer Mission teams, as an election that has been free, that has been peaceful, that has been credible. I, so I don't understand where these allegations are coming from. Despite the opposition claims, ZANU-PF and its veteran leader look set to emerge from another election with more power than they've had in years. Nomsamasego, BBC News, Zimbabwe.